What is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel and Kit Kat because she apparently heard me turn the camera on and wants to make her normal appearance. Uh, so yeah, say hi to Kit Kat. <laughs> Y'all, it is here. It is here. It is the Headmasters Special Edition box from the Wizarding Trunk. Oh my God, this is so freaking heavy. When they announced this box, my debit card probably got whiplash from me buying this box so freaking fast. I mean, it's a box just solely based on the Headmasters of Hogwarts. So, I cannot wait to see what they have come up with. But for those who don't know, the Wizarding Trunk is a Harry Potter subscription box. It is US based bi monthly, and I am actually a rep for them right now. You can use my code Bookworm10 to save 10% off anything in their shop, or if you're not subscribed to them, you can save 10% off your first subscription. And guys, if you have not subscribed to the lesson theme boxes coming up, you really should. It is going to be amazing. So yeah, don't forget to use my discount code so you guys can save some money. Um, I don't get anything. If you use my code, it really is just so my subscribers can save money, which I love that I can even do that for you guys. That makes me so happy. So yeah, I literally don't wanna wait anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. So if you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Y'all, when I say this is heavy, this is heavy. So right on top, we have the spoiler sheet, <laughs> and I love that they designed it with the passwords uh, that Dumbledore used to get into the headmaster's office. Sherbert Lemon, Fizzing Wisby, Toffee Eclairs, Acid Pops, and Cockroach Clusters. Oh, uh, that is hilarious. But we will save this for last. Okay, first we got some black tissue paper. Oh, I think it's a potion. So this must be to represent Snape. Oh. So it is a potion, I guess. It doesn't have a label though. So I have no idea what this is, but I love the bottle that they chose with the black wax. It looks like it kind of has like sand in there. Maybe it's supposed to be like Phoenix ashes. I, I, I have no idea. It's kind of weird that we don't have a label on it though. I wonder why they chose to do it that way. We will definitely have to check the spoiler sheet at the end. And next we have a... Uh, I do not know. Hold on, let me take it out. And it says, why is it always you three? That of course is a quote from Professor McGonagall, stress and headache relief skin stick. What? I've never even heard of that. Uh, vegan organic grapeseed and coconut oil, essential oils of sweet orange, uh, Lang Lang, Labdanum, and Candelilla wax. Wow, that went downhill. Uh, from Alchemy for the Skin, who is awesome. I've loved all the products that we've gotten from them. Let's give it a smell. Ooh. Oh, I'm definitely picking up the orange, which you guys know is like my favorite smelling anything. Candle, oil, lotion. You put orange in it and I am a fan. Y'all, if this actually works, like, I will have to buy more because my toddlers drive me crazy and give me headaches. So yeah, very cool. Love the quote, love the smell. Next, we have a big white box. Ooh, color me intrigued. Oh, I think it's one of Dumbledore's memories. Oh, hold the phone. Holy rabies, y'all. This it is one of Dumbledore's memories, but it's not his memory. It says important with the initials HS concerning the initials TMR with altered question mark. So this of course is the memories that Dumbledore got from Slughorn that he altered to cover up the conversation he had with Tom or Voldemort uh, about Horcruxes. That is just gorgeous. I love the bottle, love the blue. And the lid even comes off, but okay, yeah, it doesn't come out. Such a cool replica. Next we have an enamel pin and it is the griffin that you see going to the headmaster's office. And on the card it says Sherbert Lemon, which of course was one of the passwords. That is such a cool enamel pin. Perfect for this box. Oh, yes. 
I am a fan. Next, we have a key. I'm assuming this is the key to Hogwarts, which we would get if we were actually headmasters of Hogwarts. Oh, this is gorgeous. The detailing on here is everything. I don't know if you can see this, but in the crest, it says HM, which I'm assuming is for headmaster. And this has some heft to it. It's kind of, it's pretty heavy. That is such a cool item. I never would have thought of this. I adore this so freaking much. It'll definitely go on my bookshelf with all of my other keys. Ugh, yes, 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 yes. Next, I think we have a potion that is humongous and we have a little skull on the bag. Maybe draught of living death. Oh, no way. That is so cool. Okay, so no, it is not drought of living death. It is a replica of the finest oak matured spice mead bottled October 7, 1572. This is the poisoned mead that Slughorn was actually going to give Professor Dumbledore for Christmas. Oh, that is awesome. I love the label, the little bee wax seal, the wax up top. I do kind of wish they would have actually put like water or something in here. That would have made it look so authentic. But on the other hand, I'm sure it's smarter to ship it without water or something in case it broke. We didn't want to mess anything else up. So I get why they did that, but I still absolutely adore this. That is gonna look awesome on my shelf. Don't ever trust Slughorn to actually pass along a drink to somebody else because it's not gonna happen. Next, we have some more black tissue paper. Kind of feels like a candle. And it is a candle. It says tea time with the headmistress. Oh, this must be in reference to when Umbridge was trying to force Harry to drink tea that she had put Vera to serum in. Thank God Harry learned constant vigilance. Fruit tea, basil, sage, and mint, inflamer candles, four ounce soy. Everyone gets a biscuit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is inspired by uh, Professor McGonagall because uh, she was like, have a biscuit, Potter. But let's give it a smell. Oh, that is so pretty. We got some gold sparkles with maybe some little like tea leaves in there. Ooh, oh my God. Oh, that smells amazing i'm definitely picking up the mint very pretty but i'm curious if this is to represent umbridge or mcgonagall let me know what you guys think in the comments down below maybe the spoiler sheet will tell us later Ooh, next we have a another white box kind of like a jewelry box oh okay so i think the candle was mcgonagall because this is pure umbridge it is a quill with a note that says, deep down, you know you deserve to be punished. This is ingenious. The perfect, perfect item for Umbridge. And of course we don't have any ink for this special quill. Oh, I hate her. Love this, hate her. But I will definitely be keeping my special quill in its box because hopefully I will never feel that somebody needs to be punished that much. Next we have a, oh no. Oh, I think it's broke, whatever it is. <gasps> Shoppers. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it looks like there's something else in there besides the mug. I will of course email them. I'm sure they'll send a replacement out. I kind of want to know what it said though. Oh, it says 394. So I'm assuming this said uh, turn to page 394, which this would have been a Snape item. But let's see what was wrapped in bubble wrap. It is Sherbert Lemon, fizzy sweet treat, lemon flavored, packaged in London. So we actually have little lemon treats, which is Dumbledore's favorites. Very cute. Of course, they had to add one of Dumbledore's favorite candies. I'll probably display this on my bookshelf next to his portrait up there. So, very cool. Next, we have a, another brown box. Ooh, this is heavy. It is another potion. Infusion of wormwood, a substance derived from the wormwood plant. A notable use of this infusion is that it can be used in potion making along with powdered root of asphodel 
Did I say that right? Probably not. To create the draught of living death, bottled by pure blood apothecary. I think this is my favorite potion ever from the Wizarding Trunk. And that's saying something because I've loved all of their potions. Oh, that is awesome. Y'all, I'm gonna for real, I'm gonna have to get another bookshelf soon because I've completely filled this up with my new potions. And then I have all my other potions over here. So yeah, I'm running out of room for potions, but I don't even care because I, I love potions. They're one of my favorite items to get in boxes. So yeah, love it, amazing. And the last item in the box is an art print. I'm gonna take it out. And it of course is Fox. I think this is done by um, JP Mistlecrow, cause he's the one who did the art prints in our last box from the Wizarding Trunk. And this looks very similar to that. So yeah, very cool. I love Fox. I wish we had more items based off Fox. Cause yeah, definitely underrepresented. So pretty. I think I'm gonna display this as well next to Dumbledore up there. Love it. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card to make sure I didn't miss anything. Number one, the memory vial. These hand-blown memory vials were made especially for this box, but it appears the memory inside has been tampered with. Naughty Slughorn. Uh, number two, the tea time with the headmistress. This candle was created by Inflamer Candles. It doesn't say if it's Slughorn or McGonagall, but I'm assuming it's McGonagall now because of the everyone gets a biscuit quote on there. Number three, powdered root of asphodel. So this was the powdered root. And number four was the infusion of wormwood. It says, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Both of these ingredients were bottled by Pure Blood Apothecary. Number five was the Phoenix in the Study prints. This watercolor print was created by JP Mistlecrow, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Number six was the Quill. Deep down, you know you deserve to be punished. Number seven was the Griffin pen, which as always is a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. Um, and then we had the enamel mug, which I mean, sad day, uh, a Wizarding Trunk exclusive. This mug features two of our favorite snarky quotes from this professor. Oh, I don't know what the other quote was. And then Sherbert Lemon Candies, a favorite non-wizarding candy. Don't like the candies or can't have them. Display these candies with pride or gift them to your headmaster. They are his favorites. Number nine is why is it always you three? This vegan stress and headache relief stick is great for relieving stress and headaches. Number 10, the headmaster's key, wizarding trunk exclusive. Strolling around the castle and don't fancy using magic, this headmaster key will allow you to enter any door without a magic spell. This key was designed in house, love it. And last was the cursed bottle of mead, wizard, another wizarding trunk exclusive. It says, Merry Christmas, Headmaster. Note the faint smell of licorice and cherry. I don't smell it, but, <laughs> but very cool. But yes, that was everything in the box. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I don't think I have a least favorite item because I loved everything. Favorite item? Oh God. Um, I think it would have to be the memory vial. That is just gorgeous. So yeah, I mean, this box, as always, just blew my mind. The amount of thought and detail that the Wizarding Trunk puts into the theme of their boxes, the items in them, like, I this, this is why I love the Wizarding Trunk, guys. They're just amazing, they really are. But I would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Really Kit Kat? Ah! Are you done? Get down and smell me. Ah. Kick cat's butt for you.
There you go. Really, Kit Kat? Dude, don't knock it over. Kit Kat. Okay, get down. Get down. <sighs> okay, Lord Jesus. Out of everything you want to rub, you rub the tripod. Stop it. And, and then, <laughs> really? And then. Okay. Oh, I see a pin. Breakfast at Tiffany, then bottles of bubble. Go with tattoo, that's getting in trouble. Oh, it'll definitely be cute. Oh, no, 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 no. Shattered like my heart. I'm gonna take my horse to that old town road. <laughs> 